Hey everybody, here we are at the Camberwell Art Show and I just thought I'll do a little bit of videoing of some of these beautiful artworks that are on display and show you some of my favourites. I won't show you everything because there's like a thousand paintings here but I'll show you some of my favourite works. Pete Groves. He's got these paintings here. And then these ones here are super cool. The one at the top there reminds me of the book Uno's Garden. <laughs> and that is also Pete Groves. These three here are by Stuart Westall. I think that's how you say his name. This is a very unique work. This one here is gorgeous. It's called um, Visual Diary by Lisa O'Keefe. I like this one here too. Looks like silver birches. Just, it's called Trees in Colour by Ken Gaunt. It's a bit of a wall of pale green here. They're paired up lovely. That's got to be alcohol inks there. Got to be. That's a pretty little landscape down there. These ones in here are very abstract, which is where my work is. I've spotted it, so I'll take you over to my painting in just a minute. It's going to come into view. Up the top there, in beautiful company, centre top. And we've got Sarah Curtin underneath called, her artwork underneath mine there is called Meandering Trail. And then down the bottom, we've got another pretty one here. My Purple Moon by Sharon Wooten. It's such an honour to have my work on display here. Absolute honour. Shame they only took one, but um, I'm in a better position in the gallery than I was last year, so I'm thankful for that. And maybe next year um, they'll take two, if I'm lucky. So don't give up. There's a lovely birdie over here. Look at that, a gorgeous cockatoo. So that's called Ebony Sunset by Ling Wang. That's a beautiful, beautiful baby. Just gorgeous. Birds. Oh, this one here is fantastic. Oh, that one's won an award for the judge's paintings. That's by Robert Knight. Water Reeds Dance. That is cool. And this one here is by Robert Knight as well. Wow, he's got some, oh, actually all of these ones are. He's got some style, that guy. That's awesome. Love that one. Look at the use of color in there. It's just magnificent. And it has texture in it as well, actually. So it's got textured bits in the center there mainly in the center of the artwork on the edges it doesn't have texture but that is um, magnificent there's a beautiful ballerina uh, Rapinska this one's by Kringer as well she's got a few actually 
lots of little animals in hers. They're a bit of fun. Lots of use of colour. These are pretty ones. Lots of the pink just draws me, draws me in every time, the pink. So this one here. So that is by Sarah Morrow. That one's called Pink Habitat. And then this one over here is this, um, also hers. And that one is called Myriad of Flowers. They're fun. They're lots of fun. That's a cute little one down there too. Jeanette Wang, Enchanted Garden. This one's Matthew Petrucci. Petrucci. Oh, this one. Whoa, look at that. Very simplistic, but very beautiful. That's clever. Six little canvases built within the one floating, floating frame. I like that. That's a good way of displaying them. This is a lovely little one down here, that one's sold. Melissa Cherry, Still Life Patterns. That's a beautiful one. These little ones are cute. Quirky little paintings. And there's a big one by the same artist there. Original artwork section. I'm not that into Aboriginal art that much, unfortunately. Not really my thing, but they're still beautiful nonetheless. These two at the end here are a um, little bit different. These three, I should say, not two. Pretty little ones here. Looks like a church, this one here. Play the place, part one. Another still life flowers. Looks like a theme park. Oh, Luna Park. It is Luna Park. And some ladies having a coffee. This one could be the same artist. Yes, it is. So that's Flinders Street Station, which is the big train station in Melbourne, in the city. These two are pretty groovy. You'd have to buy them. If you're going to buy those, you'd have to buy the pair. It would be so cruel to leave one behind. Zelman Lou. So groovy. Look at that. It's lips made out of a flower. How cool. That is so much fun. I can't look at those and not be happy. These birds here are the same artist as before, Ling Wang. We've just been commenting about how much we like this one. So beautiful. Wonderful um, paintings that she does. Beautiful leopard there. That's by a different um, artist, that one. Lots of birds here. And um, over here, my mum was just looking at these ones here with the incredible detail. So this one, it's just the detail in it is just incredible of just the um it's called bull ant in the bush and i did find the bull ant in there i'll take you in right there <laughs> such a variety of artworks here This one's called Birds 2 by Anne Thompson. And I looked it up on my phone and it's a gang gang. 
Oh, it's good to have different things coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the gold on there. Shimmering. I don't think it's gold leaf. It is. Oh, yeah, no, that's gold leaf. Gold metal leaf. Metallic gold paint. Beautiful. That's a gorgeous one. It's called If I Were a King, Red Tail Black Cockatoo. And, um, hello, Cocky. Hello, Cocky.